there's a certain aspect of disbelief, I suppose. Like when you're involved in a team sport like, like we are, and you put so much emphasis on your panel and your, the group of lads around you, and even the backroom team, like these things only come into your mind. I suppose to be nominated, I suppose, like, and then to want and pick it up and win it, it's just phenomenal, really. But like, I don't know, it's going to take a while to, do, um, to digest. Um, it's kind of hard to describe in ways, you know, it's something that I never, as an individual, would ever try for. I could always see myself as team player first. Man in front of me, man behind me, man alongside me. Looking after him, one. Um, go out, do the best performance that I can on the day, and in turn, that helps the team. So to be in this position, I suppose, it's really, I'm really honoured and grateful, I suppose, to be recognised at once, and I suppose to go on and win it. It's just something that won't sink in for oil. <laughs> Um, I've quite a big family. I have six older brothers. I'm the youngest boy. I'm a young, older sister, younger sister. So there's a fair network of us there between um, all their kids, and you know. So I'm an uncle to a fair few kids, which is fantastic. And I can see those growing up, and the joy that do, it brings those young kids. Whether uh, there's one or two of them playing with Camelock, and there's one inside playing with Pearce, giving them a pair of Solomon. I suppose that's the way they're spread across the county, and it's fabulous to see them. The interest they have, and I'd like to believe. I had some part to play in that, you know, down through the years and being so ex successful as we are, have been, I suppose it inspires them to come on and, oh, that's my uncle. Start of the year, we didn't go as well in the league as we wanted to, I suppose. Not that we expected to be playing well, you never expect anything, I suppose, because it's so competitive. But we weren't going as well, I suppose, but that gave us a good wake-up call. Coming off the back of last year, I suppose, being champions, winning once or winning other and I suppose it grounds you a bit more, I think, you know, coming off the back of the league, a couple of losses, like, uh, you're not where you're supposed to be, you're not where you want to be. I suppose that really settles you down and grounds you again, just to say, you actually, as an individual, as a team, and I suppose as management, you have stuff to reflect on and work on. But I suppose the championship itself is so competitive, like you see the Munster Championship, and, like the battle with Clare, Blanc, Cues of Park, and then on to the Munster final, so you know, that could have gone anyway, but in third, that the then you're on to semi-final, you're facing a serious call of a side. You get over that and you're facing a guinea. So like, there's, no, there's no chance for a Brit. Every day we go out, I suppose, is a learning day for us because no day it's going to be perfect for us any, in regards to any sport you're playing. But as a team and as a setup, I suppose trying to be the best you can. And look, fortunately like, for us, like, you know, the three in a row and stuff like that, that's something we never really spoke about in the camp. Um, but was there in the mindset, I suppose, as an individual, I, yeah, which is fantastic to win it and to get over, the, get over that milestone. But look, I suppose, settling down now again, and as I said earlier, not rest on your morals for, for next year, and hopefully drive it on. Always for us in the backs is, you know, mindset, your defender first, you know, mind your house, mind Nicky and goals. <laughs> um, but like, for us, it's always the men in the better position. Like, and I suppose as a forward unit, you know, we work as unity, like, you know, it's kind of saying you have your six backs, you have your two midfielders, but as a forward, how are you helping the six backs, you know, when the ball in your end of the field? I suppose the transition in when we do have the ball as backs, I suppose this is to get it down into the danger zone. When you have the likes of Aaron Glenn, James Flanagan blowing that full forward line, you know, Graham McKay lurking around there, um, you know, there's dangerous boys down there, so there's no good me having the ball up there my own 21, so that transition, I suppose, as fast as you can, down to the danger zone, like, that is something that we emphasise is the danger zone, but then just, like, that's where, that's where you're going to get your scores and that's where you're going to win games, down there, so, that transition, like, um, no, I suppose we've adapted, like, down through the years, I suppose different challenges have been thrown at us, between your sweepers or your third midfielder, two inside, I suppose we've adapted to certain situations and I suppose, that adaptability has, suppose, has stood to us test of time over the last couple of years. And I suppose we're very fortunate with the group of lads we've as well. You know, it's grand saying, go out and implement this. But when you see the skill and the, the talent and the, the fitness levels in the panel, you Kai Hayes in the forward and Groot Hegarty and Tom Morris, that's your half forward line. You know, this, the physique of those boys, like coming back to field and going forward with the ball, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really something to, be, to behold, you know. I wouldn't be encouraging too many cornerbacks to go up the field now. Barry Nash is, uh, 
he, he's some athlete and he's gotten up a few times, which is you know, fantastic to see and I suppose adds another element to our game. Liberty's man, very nice, but one of the scores of the game. The scores myself, look, I'm very fortunate to have lads around me that I do and I know their game probably better than them. And that's the big thing where I focus on. I'm always studying my own individual lads on the field rather than studying the opposition because when they have the ball, I know their next move and I suppose they might be the same with me. So like knowing and understanding the lads around you and like I suppose the scores that I've got, I suppose it's great getting a couple of scores I've got because people always forget the wides then. <laughs> so look, it's always good a couple of scores during the game, whether it be a free or from play. And like in my mindset is is I'm pushing the team forward. Whether it's a free, I'm standing over, taking my time, whether we're ten points up or one point up, it doesn't matter. My routine and my schedule and everything I do is the exact same. I suppose when an opportunity presents itself to get one from play. I like to drive forward and get it, oh, yeah, and hope it goes over. Dermot Burns, what a catch. Absolutely brilliant. And off he drives. Took three, clear men with it. That's Dara O'Donovan, and O'Donovan has scored. When you have Aaron Glenn inside roaring for it and the, the ball's going wide, so you won't be long tuning in for the next one to make sure it goes over when you do get the chance. So, no, my, my thought process will always be the man in the better position. And at times, I suppose, when you're in that position, you're more forward in the field and you're attacking the ball, you end up more past the 65, so the opportunity presents itself for a score. Flicking it on for Asdurman Burks. He's already scored once from a free, twice when you're out on the point from a play. You know, if there's a man outside me in a better position, he's getting the ball all day. Like if you look at the range of free takers around the country from each county, they all have their own technique their own routine and for years I suppose I was standing over the ball, I was going into the ball, I was roll lifting, I was picking it, I was doing things different but for the last, I'm going to say four years, I've locked in a routine, hasn't always worked, I've had my wides, had my good days. I suppose this year I suppose has been a standout year where fortunately a lot have gone over than they have gone wide so I suppose when people's minds are at matches I suppose and they're analysing it, they, they probably look at it a bit more I suppose because they are going over but I have a little routine I check the wind, do my routine, take my breather because you don't know what stage of the game it's going to be whether it be the first moment of the match to get to get steady the ship and get going or the last moment of the match where it could be a game winner or to put you up by two points to give you a bit of breathing space so for me it's just routine, lock that in and thankfully this last 12 months they've, um, it's kind of working and I'll continue to work on that and hopefully maintain it and when the start going wide that's when you hear people roaring at me. <laughs> I'd always just encourage them to be the best you can. Do you know, it goes back to your little pep talks, listen to your managers and listen to your parents but it really does bow down to that because I remember being that young lad when I was that age and I just wanted to be off with the lads and you know, whether it be skipping training or doing something, just messing about, doing stuff. But I suppose just keeping a level head, love what you're doing, whether, what sport it may be, football or soccer, hurling, camogie, whatever it may be. Just dive into it and don't be afraid to take chances because when you look at talent around the country, am I probably the best hurler in the country at the moment? Talent-wise, I wouldn't put myself up there. But to be dedicated and committed as I am, I suppose I might have... That, that's what has put me in this position here today, I think. Um, I suppose when they get to a certain stage in life, I suppose dedication takes over. I suppose just to be committed to those around you, we're in the team environment, and just enjoy it all, really. The older generation, you always meet people out and they say, geez, you don't know how lucky you are. I can remember being there in 96, 94, and some people even later than that. You know, so they're so grateful for it. For it for I suppose dedication and what we've brought to the county and the county itself has thrived from what we have achieved and you can see that, you can, you can feel the pulse in the county people are proud to be Limerick people because we have what we have achieved in the last couple of years I suppose that feeds into us as well you know, bringing that pride for the jersey we're wearing and I suppose and it feeds back to the family and the community as well you know, I can see the sense in like I don't live in Parcel anymore so like I, and when I call home in the evening times or call home to the parents, I can drop off a local, local shop, 
you can sense that pride in the community. If they don't, people haven't seen you in a couple of weeks or maybe a month, they haven't seen you since the last match. And it's like, they're almost jumping on you, do you know? But it's because of what we've achieved the last couple of years. And again, we, we don't take any for, for granted. And we won't going forward in the future. And we won't kind of look back and say, that was great. For me, there's more to be done. And I, I think that there's lads still hungry. Some aspects of it, you're thinking of it, you're minding yourself, you know, it's in your head somewhere. But I suppose for me, there is that switch off too. You know, when you're on, you're on. And if you don't switch off when you are off, I believe you can switch on when you're supposed to be on. And I, that's my philosophy around it. So I'm off now between now and Christmas or whatever the period may be. And we're finished the club championship, unfortunately, you know, we would have liked to go on further and that. But when I'm off, I'm off, and that gives me the freshness that I need, so when come when January or February, whenever it comes that the National League starts or Championship comes around, I'm fresh and my mindset is fresh and my body's fresh to be the best I can be for the team. I don't like TV to be honest, be Netflix is dangerous, you'd be you'd be caught in front of it for hours, it's one episode into another and you get hooked. I enjoy golf, love golf, love watching golf actually. You know, I suppose I appreciate the talent that they have playing it and losing balls and going left, right and centre. <laughs> so I'm like, how do they do it on the TV? So, um, no, I enjoy Formula One, also enjoying it, but golf would be my getaway, to be honest. Um, and again, just switch off and just enjoy it.